Hi, this is 10 worst parasites you can get. I warn you, the things you'll see here are very, very graphic. <laughs> Ten, Loa Loa. Loa Loa literally means worm worm and is a special kind of worm, a human eye worm. The disease is called Loaiasis, first noticed by the French doctor at the end of the 18th century in the eyes of African slaves heading for America. This parasitic worm is quite common in Africa today and is transmitted by a deer fly. When infected, a fly bites you and leaves Loa Loa's larvae in the wound. Those mature and live in subcutaneous tissue, the deepest layer of your skin. Adult worms can measure up to 70 mm, which is more than 2.5 inch, and live up to 15 years, wiggling in your eye, a place in your body this worm just finds the best to live in. The cure, apart from chemotherapy, a surgical removal of the adult worm, which has to be quick, because this nematode is hard to paralyze with drugs and often escapes deeper into the eye. 9. Wucheriria bancrofti This mosquito-transmitted parasitic worm also may live in your eye, and that is when you're lucky, because if it settles in your lymphatic node, it can cause lymphatic filariasis. And still at this stage you can be saved from what is called elephantiasis, a painful and gigantic swelling of your limbs as well as genitals. Unfortunately, elephantiasis seems to be an irreversible condition. So when visiting tropical countries, try using mosquito deterrents and even then try to pay attention to your lymph nodes, checking for strange symptoms like soreness or swelling unless you want to end up looking like one of those guys. 8. Liver Fluke Also known as Fasciola Hepatica This up to 5 cm, which is 2 inches, leaf-shaped trematode, a worm with suction and hooks, literally eats your liver for breakfast. This is a parasite whose life cycle inspired the creators of The X-Files to make an episode on the Fluke Man. It swims in swampy waters, attacks snails, morphs in them, then swims again, and if digested by cattle or human, devastates their livers. Excruciating abdominal pain is caused by blocked bile ducts. You can suffer from jaundice and ascites, you can even cough up blood. Fortunately, humans hatch the swim rarely. Because this slimy little monster started to build resilience to drugs used so far in treating fasciolosis in humans, as the disease caused by it is called. Very often your doctor has to simply catch it like a wiggly slug in a garden, where your sore intestines are the mentioned garden. 7. Guinea Worm Or Dracunculus mediniensis, little dragon from Medina, this tropical nematode's female can reach up to 120 cm, which is nearly 50 inches, and it lives under your skin, causing what is called draconculisis, guinea worm disease. At the beginning of the disease, for about a year, it does nothing to bothering to the victim. It just grows, mates and matures. Small, a few inches long males die just after mating. But when a mama worm is ready to give birth to its larvae, a painful blister on an infected limb or genitals is formed. After it ruptures, a worm slowly emerges from the very often infected wound. Whenever it gets wet, this parasite gets excited and releases its larvae. The cause of infection? Drinking dirty water in tropical regions. The best remedy is a toothpick or a match. You just carefully wind it day after day. When you feel tension, stop. Tie the worm and repeat winding the next day. Relaxing, right? Like knitting a sweater. 6. Pork Tapeworm Tinia Solium This worm can reach up to even 8 meters, which is more than 26 feet in length. 
And if it does, you are lucky you suffer from manageable tinnitus. And it means that you ate pork meat infected with sister circus, are ready to hatch stage of this worm. Worth noting is that this tapeworm's head is armed with hooks, what makes hard to get rid of it using even strong medication. But it's still better to have this form of the worm than suffer from cystocircosis, a disease caused by its immature form. What would also mean that instead of eating infected meat, you digested feces of an animal or of a man infected by the adult worms. And now it's Russian roulette, where in your body this sister circus will form. In your eyes, causing even a visual loss? Or in your brain, causing seizures, memory loss or death? Even if medication therapy is successful, the cyst in your brain or eyes still have to be surgically removed. That's why it's important to cook meat and thoroughly wash your vegetables, since someone can use some infected pigs or their own fertilizer. 5. Human bot fly. If that fly bites you and you are somewhere around here, you may just have become a walking hatchery for Dermatobia hominis, a human bot fly. And in two months you will be able to film your own crazy video. Another crazy thing is, more likely to become a host for this botfly larvae are the people who care about their hygiene. Because human botfly larvae cannot live in infected wounds. There are a few creative approaches to getting rid of this flesh-eating insect larva. Since it makes a hole in your skin in order to breathe, one approach is to suffocate it with petroleum jelly, blocking the hole and removing the larva with tweezers after a day. Another is mixing white glue with insecticide and then smearing it on the hole, causing the larva to digest the insecticide while it clears its breathing hole and finally dies. Or when larva is in some hard to operate place, like the corner of an eye, it can be forced to leave with some strong medication like Ivermectin. But the mentioned classic petroleum jelly method is the most common. You can feel or hear this parasite wiggle for a day, but then it's ready to be pulled out. Which is not easy, since it has hair-like claws designed to make it hard for you. If it dies and you don't pull it out or you leave some part of it, you will get serious infection. 4. Dirofilaria repens Another nematode that can wiggle in your eye. This mosquito-transferred nematode is quite rare in humans because our immune system traps it and makes it impossible for the worm to mature, reproduce, so it dies, or at least in most cases it should. Dogs, cats and other carnivores are main hosts. There is no geographic limitation for this worm, but it's mostly found in the Mediterranean region. Dirofilaria causes dirofilariasis. It's when this worm lives and reproduces in a lower layer of animal skin, where its offspring is sucked with blood by a mosquito. It grows in the insect for about two weeks. When this mosquito bites again, it gives you the parasite ready to grow into its mature form. 3. Gongelonema pulchrum. This is one of the rarest parasites found in humans. To get infected, you'd have to play Bear Grylls and eat a dung beetle or a cockroach by mistake. I hope. Bon appetit. Or eat contaminated food or water. This parasite grows and moves from intestines up to your oral cavity. It causes this constant sensation of tingling in your mouth, lips or soft palate. This hair in your mouth you cannot take out. It can last even for a year or more. The cure? Very often the patient seeing this wiggly creature in his mouth removes it on its own with tweezers or asks a doctor for a simple surgical procedure. All that should be followed by proper drug therapy. 2. Itch mite. Sarcoptes scabi, causing scabies. Sounds not terrifying enough? Scabies was also called a seven-year itch, despite the fact that one tiny microscopic mite lives only about four weeks. At night, those anthropods, looking like tiny crabs, 
burrow tunnels in your skin, causing agonizing itch and making people scratch themselves to live flesh. Associated with the Middle Ages, itch mites are transferred by a simple handshake or contact with things belonging to the infected person. Therapy, apart from medication, involves washing clothes and bedding. Adult mite can survive up to three days without a host. Wanna know if your rash is caused by this tiny monster? Rub normal ink into your skin and clean it. Ink will penetrate burrow tunnels in your skin, proving that you have, or not, guests in your skin. 1. Large Roundworm Oh, this is not a bowl of freshly cooked spaghetti. This is Ascaris lambricoides, large human roundworm. A part of its life cycle includes being coughed up and swallowed by a host, yes. You not only had food infected with feces in your mouth, but this nematode crawled back from your intestines through your lungs to be swallowed once more in order to mature, again, in your warm bowels, where it can produce copious amounts of eggs that can stay active in soil for years, waiting for another unhygienic victim. Ascaris lambricoides can totally block your intestines, leading to painful death. And since it has lipid shield, it can survive acidic environment of your stomach as well as resist other chemicals, what obviously makes it hard to kill it using medication. However, this parasitic worm is somehow responsive to general anesthesia and may exit on its own through your mouth. On the other hand, living moving pasta-like poo while infected is quite normal when suffering from ascariasis. Now you know 10 answers to what's eating you, and even though you don't like anybody, you can still be a good host. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for well, <coughs> more.